Welcome to another episode of Hack Naked TV, recorded August 13th, 2015. I'm Aaron Lyons, and today we're going to be talking about the Bind D, Denial of Service Exploit, Windows 10, Kali 2.0, and much, much more. This episode is brought to you by Black Hills Information Security, the leaders in pen testing and active defense. Email consulting at blackhillsinfosec.com to request a quote today. And by Cyberry. Get the latest hacking and security training from cyberry.it. Visit hacknaked.tv slash cyberry for a referral link for our listeners. I wasn't able to attend Black Hat or DEF CON this year. I hope everyone that went had a great time and was safe. Uh, if you weren't able to visit our table and get uh, the swag that you wanted, please visit our shop, shop.securityweekly.com. We have glassware, we have t-shirts, uh, and much, much more coming soon. So, Bind. Just before Black Hat, there was a vulnerability and exploit release for Bind uh, that resulted in a denial of service. Since then, uh, it's been actively exploited in the wild. Uh, so if you're still recovering from DEF CON and haven't patched your DNS servers, now's the time to do that. It really doesn't work all that well when uh, your DNS server's down. When we discussed before, just before Black Hat, the U.S. was saying that the OPM breach wasn't China, at least not officially. Now they're saying that they're going to retaliate because of the breach by China. It is. It isn't. We're not doing anything. We are doing something. Seems like they can't make up their mind. If, we, if the U.S. government does retaliate, I don't see how this can't escalate. Where does it stop? Windows 10 was released, uh, then security experts have a lot of concerns with uh, its privacy settings and how it collects and shares data. Also, just this pa last patch Tuesday, four critical uh, vulnerabilities in Windows 10 were patched. So if you're one of the early adopters, patch, patch, patch. Ubiquity, a uh, networking company that specializes in making networking equipment for small and medium businesses uh, fell victim to the classic CEO fraud scam where they convinced a employee to transfer over $40 million to someone they weren't supposed to. Uh, a lot of details of this have not been disclosed yet, but uh, as always, phishing remains high on the list of ways that uh, hackers are gaining access to our networks. Be on the lookout. Google has become Alphabet, sort of. Google recently created a parent company called Alphabet so that they can branch off their moonshots like Nest, self-driving cars, VR, their new wireless service, so that Google can concentrate on its core service of advertising and these moonshots not impact its overall revenue. Be interesting to see how this works out for them. Kali Linux 2.0 was released and we're all downloading it and installing it. It was just this past Tuesday. I've only got a brief chance to look at it. Um, things that have caught my attention are the GNOME 3 desktop environment which has come a long way since GNOME 3 was originally released. It's a rolling distribution based off of Debian testing, which is terrific. Love Debian testing. Um, and there's a overall redesign, reordering of the menu and tools, which I think makes it a lot easier to find the tool that you're looking for. Uh, they've updated all of the different uh, images, the VM, the Chromebook, your ARM, everything's out there. And if you use the, um, uh, what am I looking for here? The live install environment, you're able to choose a variety of desktop environments. They even have a light version out there that runs XFCE, which is a great light desktop environment if you're running on older hardware. Um, there's a couple of annoyances with, uh, with the initial install in Offensive Security has done a great blog post. It's in our show notes on the top 10 post-install tips that they have. So go out and check that out. 
couple of little tips and tricks there for uh, for you newly installed Kali Linux 2.0. If you've been on the Twitter at all in the last week, you've seen the drama fall out from the post by the Oracle CSO. Um, they the CSO, uh, Marianne Davidson, posted a uh, blog post titled Don't Just Don't, where she uh, state that research where uh, security engineers are reverse engineering the code from Oracle is against the ULA. Um, Oracle responded by quickly removing the post, but not quick enough. It's been cached by Google in the information security community has um, taken it and run with it and it has been lambasted relentlessly on Twitter. You can find a variety of memes out there right now making fun of it. Also, uh, Netcraft released their July uh, 2015 survey of the web and in it they found something a little bit interesting. Of the uh, of all of the sites, about a fifth of them, 173 million, are running on Windows 2003, which we all know uh, extended support ended in July. Of those 173 million, 73 percent of those are running on IIS 6.0, which is the version of IIS that shipped with 2003 originally. Uh, this sounds like a recipe for disaster and a uh, huge potential attack surface for a botnet in the next few coming months because there's no more security patches. That wraps up this episode of Hack Naked TV. Email us at the show at hacknaked.tv uh, with any comments, suggestions, news stories, or rants. Love to hear from you. Have a great day.